Welcome back. Welcome back, beautiful people. Appreciate you tuning in again for another week. Uh, this week's episode, we're going to be talking about the series that I've been you know, working on, which is you know, the principles outlined in Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power. And this week, we are going to be looking at law number, you got it, five. We're making progress, right? We're making progress. And in between, we got episodes where I actually get to speak to people and, and get their stories out there. And so um, keep looking out for those. And I'm, I'm forever grateful that you guys tune in every week, that you listen to this podcast and that you get something from it or from each episode. And if you have favorites, don't forget to share it and, and send it out to the world. So good karma can always come back to you. Right. And that's what it's about here now. Let's get right into this law number five. And I think it's a really, really, really powerful one as well. And so law number five states, you know, so much depends on reputation. So guard it with your life. And that's what law number five is. Your reputation and that you must guard it with your life. Now, reputation is all we really have when you think about it. How you present yourself to the world and how people perceive you is all you really have to go on. That's your first impression. So it's important that, you know, we maintain that we take care of it. We sustain it because that's literally who we are. Right. That's really a part of your legacy. Now, the law also states that a good reputation is one of the most valuable assets that you can have. And I agree with that. I really do. I think it is one of the most valuable assets that any one of us can have. So the other thing then is how can we use this principle in our daily lives, right? Especially when you look at today's society, it's a microwave society. We need something really quick right now. We can't wait. There's a lack of patience. Um, and so we need everything right away, instant. And it's just a part of our conditioning that we've been fed, right? So how do we apply this principle? Law number five is really about understanding the importance of a good reputation. Now, if you got a bad one, it's definitely not a good thing, but at least you're aware that you have a bad one. But if you got a good one, how do we sustain it? Right. We want to focus on the positive. So how do we sustain that that good reputation that you have and how can it impact all the other aspects of your life? Today's society, really, where information is easily accessible, right, and it's shared in a matter of seconds it's more important than ever to be mindful of your reputation what gets out there what comes back what's circulating right and how is it impacting you and that's why it's important let's look at things from a business setting right if you have a good reputation it can help you as a business owner or an entrepreneur Right. Secure new clients, partnerships and even opportunities that you probably wouldn't have been considered for if your reputation was the latter. Right. And then you got to look at the personal settings. The personal setting. A good reputation can help you obviously make new friends, sustain healthy and, and valuable relationships, build new relationships and gain respect of others, right? So those are the things that you can benefit from when you have a good reputation. I want to kind of use this opportunity to kind of share some people that you might be familiar with. You may not know them personally, right? But you might be familiar with and how this law has helped them or propelled them or sustained them, right? And in, in, in their light and, and who they are and who they were meant to be. And, and how we look at them because of their reputation, right? In the business setting, let's look at Jeff Bezos. Now, if you don't know who Jeff Bezos is, he's the founder and CEO of Amazon, right? He's built a reputation as a savvy businessman. And he's always looking for new opportunities. That's just who he is. Now, whether you know a lot or a little about him, it does not matter at this point. Because Amazon is an extension of his reputation. And that's the power in that, right? This is a part of the reason why we continue to use Amazon in all the different platforms that it provides, whether it's in Prime, watching videos and, and delivery services or making purchases and, and all those things. 
this is why we use it because of his reputation whether you know it or not amazon is an extension of his reputation and that's why we also continue to invest in amazon so that's one way that you know jeff bezos reputation has propelled him and has allowed us to trust and invest in in him let's look at the entertainment industry uh, a mogul that you know i'd love to use in this example is oprah winfrey right she is a media mogul she's built a reputation as a philanthropist as well philanthropist and she's also a powerful female leader in our society now whether you agree with what she represents in every aspect of what she does, it does not matter at this point. We're talking about law number five, a person's reputation and what it does and the impact it can have. So I'm using Oprah as an example here, right? She's continued to support so many people across the globe, different countries, different parts of the world, building schools and, and women-driven initiatives and, and so much more. So she continues to do this across the globe. She's also given millions away to guests on her show, right? So this is her reputation, and this will continue to be her reputation, regardless of any scandal that people might try to connect to her, right? But again, what she's laid up until this moment cannot be erased because of the impact she's had on so many of us based on that reputation. You know Oprah for giving and giving opportunities to so many people, right? Helping so many people's trajectory as far as their career by giving them the opportunity, by sharing her platform. And this is what she represents, right? So that's another example there. Now let's transition over into sports because, you know, if you know me, you know that I love sports. Now, in the sports industry, I want to look at Michael Phelps. Yes, I know, I know. Don't be shocked. It's not Jordan this time because I could use him forever. But it's Michael Phelps, the Olympian, right? He is the Olympic swimmer and he shattered and set so many records that it's going to be very, very difficult to, to kind of break some of those records. But again, he's built a reputation as one of the greatest athletes of all time. Yes, he is a GOAT. And that's a contribution due to his work ethic, right? He works hard. He's extremely dedicated. But most importantly, he's consistent. He's always been and going to be synonymous with the word champion, winner, Olympian, and in my opinion, a GOAT. Those are the words that are going to be synonymous with Michael Phelps. When you think of him, you're not going to think about the guy who smoked weed and the world was like, oh, my gosh, he smokes weed. Nope. Not going to be that guy that you're going to remember. You're going to remember the guy who shattered every record in the pool. That's what you can remember. That freak of nature that he's built differently. His dedication to the, the craft. Right. And that's his reputation, that he's a winner. And that's going to continue to be his reputation despite any controversy that he has gone through or that we are familiar with. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about your reputation and how important it's going to be for your legacy. Those are just some great examples, right, of how your reputation is important in different industries that I want to share with you. But it's also important to remember that it's not always easy to maintain a good reputation. Hell no. Right? Sometimes it's very difficult. You're going to go through trying time just to sustain your reputa uh, reputation. So it takes hard work. You need to be aware of that. You got to be consistent with maintaining it. That means you got to be conscious about every decision that you're making. You got to be dedicated to maintaining that reputation because it is who you are. It's your le legacy. Those coming up behind you are going to be a part of that legacy. And so you have to make sure the path isn't, you know, messy isn't dirty isn't distrusting and all of that so that those people don't have to go through the, the, the pitfalls that you've laid out for them right so building and maintaining a good reputation takes time and effort it's not going to happen overnight if you're, you're going to be honest with yourself and your reputation you need to be aware of that time is going to be a huge part of of building this 
and maintaining this reputation that you have and obviously effort, right? You got to be aware of your actions. Now, I can't stress that enough. I think you got to be aware of your actions and also your words and how they can impact the way people see you and the way people react to you, respond to you, right? You have to always strive to be the best version of yourself in any situation. It doesn't matter the circumstance. Put your best foot forward and you never have to worry about whether your you know, reputation is going to be um, tainted or, or what's another word I could use, right? It's going to be damaged or harmed. So keep that in mind. Best foot forward. A good reputation is not only beneficial for your personal or professional goal, but it's also an opportunity for doors to be opened. Right. Your reputation will open doors without you ever having to look for a key or touch the knob just because other people have experienced or witnessed your reputation. And that's why those doors are opening. So keep that in mind as you navigate your day to day routines and the people that you interact with right now that wraps it up for today's episode on the dap show but i hope that you've gained some valuable insights about law number five so much depends on reputation guard it with your life and how it can be applied in both your personal and your professional settings but just remember that a good reputation is one of the most valuable assets that you can have. And it takes time and effort to build it as well as maintain it. Thank you again for tuning in for yet another episode of The Dab Show. Until next time, love, peace, and nappiness.